and welcome to the Midweek Wrap, the only hyper-local news, weather and events program for the Yarra Valley and the Dandenong Ranges, only on Yarra Rangers Life TV. And what an interesting week it's been, Pat. Yeah, life has certainly taken a bit of a, a well, a drastic change um, mm. over the last week. And uh, you know, normally, of course, you're, you're familiar with us getting out and about to different events and festivals and sharing those with you guys. So a bit of a different, a bit of a change of tact this week. Yeah, it's changing every day at mm. this stage. So mm. even by the time this wrap comes out, things might be different in a few days. But. Um, we still managed to get out and about this weekend, didn't we? We did, yeah. So we're sharing lots of uh, stories with local businesses, how they've responded to, of course, the different um, restrictions and things that have been put in place. Uh, prime example, on Saturday morning, of course, we went to Yarrowview Garden Centre in Mount Evelyn, had a chat to uh, Scott uh, Buckland down there to see how those guys have been impacted and, and how they've changed their business practices and, and what precautions they've put in place yeah. to still allow retailers to, you know, and shoppers to come and do so in a safe environment, of course, protect their staff. Yeah, too. and yeah. They, they've done a fantastic mm. job with that. And then we came here to the cancelled Tesla Kabloom Festival. Such a shame. There's, you know, hundreds of thousands of flowers here mm. um, that would have been open for the public viewing. Um, but unfortunately, um, obviously due to health reasons, they had to cancel. But we had a chat with Paul um, to talk about all the preparation that went into it and, and what's coming up for Tesla as well, which will be their Tulip Festival in September. Yeah, and, and how cool was it to, Paul showed us the Snapdragon Yeah. Flower and, and how it, it got its name. I know, I've whole... never seen that before. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> so cool. And then on Sunday, uh, we also went to Yarra Valley Arts to find out how those guys are still engaging and keeping artists connected um, during this time, of course. We had a chat to Kate Baker out there and uh, shared their story. And we also did a piece on um, how one of the local community supermarkets um, have had to, of course, uh, adapt and um, put in some you know, safety precautions and things in place like their sneeze screens yeah. um, at the IGA in Mount Evelyn there. We had a chat to Tony and uh, it's very emotional because you know, there's a lot of stress on you know, staff and on people and yeah. uh, being a manager there to, to um, see his response to the support of his staff yeah. and the community uh, was quite touching actually. And, and the um, genuine care that he puts into his business and the community as well. And well done on that piece, Pat. Good yeah, work. Yeah, it was and really great talking to Tony. So um, uh, now we've got uh, a range of other things coming up which we'll share with you guys um, after the news. But um, I wanted to do a quick shout out, of course, because the, Man Ever Sorry, the, the Melbourne International Flower and Garden Show was cancelled. And of course, Garden Express, our major sponsor, um, they had a massive display uh, of colour and bulbs ready to rock and roll. So because it's been cancelled, they are holding a massive flower fest sale. So jump online to gardenexpress.com.au, pick up some fantastic savings on spring bulbs and a whole range of fantastic products there. So they've got a, a ton of specials just uh, from the Melbourne International Flower and Garden Show. It's shifted online. Yeah, that's so, right. Yeah, go to gardenexpress.com.au and check out the flower fest savings. Yes, and just so you guys know, Garden Express is a local business. They're yeah. based in Mombok, so exactly right. still uh, make sure you're supporting local business where you can. That's the one. But now it's time for some latest local news, of course, presented by our very own Karina Stone. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> appealing for help to locate a missing teen who was last seen boarding a bus here in Lilydale on Thursday the 26th of March at around 3pm. 14 year old Amani Kader is described as being 170 centimetres tall with medium build, dark brown hair and facial piercings. She was last seen wearing a black champion jumper, black leggings and black runners. Police are urging anyone with information on her current whereabouts to contact the Knox Police Station on 9881 7000. And with COVID-19 continuing to multiply here in Australia, pushing our totals well over 3,000 cases and over 800 here in Victoria, stage three lockdown restrictions are now in full effect. So what does that mean? Well, it means there are only four reasons to be outside of your home right now. To shop for your food and essential supplies, for medical care or compassionate needs, to exercise or to work or study if you cannot do either from home. These restrictions are now enforceable with on-the-spot fines of $1,652 for individuals and $9,913 for businesses. All gatherings are now also limited to only two people except for members of your household or for work or education purposes. So the message is pretty clear, don't go outside unless you absolutely have to. And finally, Yarra Rangers Live TV reached an epic milestone of a thousand video broadcasts over the weekend 
And April also sees our team celebrate three years of independent community TV for the Valley and the Rangers. On behalf of the Yarra Rangers Life TV team, we thank you for your continued support, particularly during this crisis where we still strive to bring you as much local content as we can, whilst keeping the health of our team and our community the number one priority. Thank you. Well done Danny for capturing those beautiful images of the flowers from here at the cancelled Tesla Kabloom Festival. Yeah, such a shame of course, all the events around the valley and the range of course having been cancelled, um, but we thought of course we'd still try to take you guys behind the scenes and share some of these beautiful flowers that have come into bloom. So next year it'll be back. Yes. I can't wait for that one. And congratulations on 1,000 episodes. Yes, that was our 1,000th episode, of course, our 1,000th broadcast. So if you are looking for some fantastic hyper-local content to check out while you're in this lockdown, shutdown phase, um, and you're at home looking for something to binge watch, binge watch Yarra Rangers Live TV. <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? Um, of course, uh, now what have we got coming up? Um, there's always stories for us to share. Um, we'll be doing some feature stories on some of the local businesses, how they've of course changed their practices and things. Um, obviously we've had to change our practices as well. We're shooting on an angle, so it may not look like we've got this social distancing one and a half metres happening, but we actually do. Uh, yeah, so um, Puffing Billy, we've got a story coming up with those guys as well, how the volunteers have been affected. I mean, that's a, quite a, a powerful piece as well. Yeah. And um, Hillsville Sanctuary, they're doing some things there too. So we're, we're sharing with you how they've adapted and, um, and change their, their format. They've got like live streams happening with all their animals. How good is that? Tree kangaroo, oh, it's awesome. It's amazing to see how all the local businesses, um, or not even just the local businesses, but businesses in general have, um, you know, changed their ways to, to fit in with the current situation and um, putting things out there online and, and you know, making sure that people are still connected in that way. Exactly right. Uh, is yeah. amazing. And of course, technology is a wonderful thing. Um, is. Imagine if this had happened 20 years ago. Yeah. Where we didn't have things like, you know, FaceTime, Zoom, all those kind of things that still allows, allows us to be engaged. Yeah. So, um, big thank you to you guys out there for being proactive and sticking, of course, adhering to the protocols, 1.5 metre distances and social distancing practice. So, fines now, a $1,000 fine. Yeah. You could, they can slap you with that. Yeah. Um, of course, you know, one metre, oh, sorry, one person per four square metres, all that kind of stuff. But having said that, um, this was recorded over the weekend, so things may have changed. Stage three may already be active. I know yeah. Daniel Andrews was saying, get ready for stage three. It's coming. So go to dhhs.vic.gov.au forward slash coronavirus for the latest news, updates, information. Um, yeah, so that's your, the, the primary port of call here for the state of Victoria. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. But uh, let's bring it to a close, yep. of course. Um, Karina, love your work. Thank Thanks, you so Pat. much for everything that you do. Thank you. Getting sharper with the lights. How good is it? <laughs> Daniel Field, the man behind the camera, who had his birthday just the other day. Happy birthday, Daniel. Yes, happy birthday, Danny. Yeah, and um, look, that's us for this week. Yes. Um, stick around because we do have more stories coming up, some more hyper local content, and we will be sharing more posts and things and updates as they come to life. Yeah, so, that's right. Yeah. But as always, we're, well, we're trying to live, love, and share life in the valley and the ranges. Yes, only on Yeah Rangers Life TV. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Should we go for a stroll through the sunflower? Why not? <laughs> you, you go first. Oh. Got to keep that 1. distancing. 1.5 metres.